Astronaut, I move solo cause it feels safer. Astronaut, I move solo cause it feels fake friends and fake people. Some of them is hate. Fake friends and fake people. Some of them is haters. First off, I'm about to show y'all what the fuck is going on, know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, was motivated and shit. Damn! Okay, so, I know y'all probably wondering, why are we staring at some strawberry jelly and some peanut butter? I'm about to tell you why, because like I said, yo, you know what I'm saying? This is all about moving up, it's all about doing the goddamn thing. And I feel like, you know, I'm here, I got to this point in my life, I think I'm doing alright, you know, if I say so myself. I ain't rich or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing. So, I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. I be going to work. And then, you know, I don't know what happened. You know, I was just checking my budget and, you know, I'm seeing how much money was going out. You know, where it was going. And I'm like, yo, I spend a lot of money at work. You feel what I'm saying? I, I spend like, like six, seven dollars a day. And I'm like, yo, for real, it'd be the same shit there, the same bag of chips, the same candy, the same goddamn juice, and it'd all be like two fifty three dollars I'm like, yo, fuck that shit. And you know what's crazy? Like, I'd be food shopping already just to eat dinner at the crib. You know, I got tired of eating out. I'm like, yo, the fuck am I spending all this money for? So I'm like, yo, I'm going to just bring my lunch to work. So I know what a lot of y'all are thinking, well, who the fuck cares? I've been doing this shit for God knows how long. Well, you know what I'm saying? I just, I guess I got adjusted to buying food. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, no worries. You know what I'm saying? All I got to do is eat lunch, and I'm good. I think I can hold myself down until, you know, I come home and eat. And, you know, then it's a vegetables bonanza. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I got the strawberry preserves. I got the food line, the store brand stuff, the creamy peanut butter. I'm like, yo. I'm thinking, I'm like, yo. Two peanut butter jelly sandwiches a day, Mikey. Got the grape jam, you know what I'm saying? All store brand, you heard. Got the apple butt. That's not, well, that's not going to go to work. That's, I mean, let's see real quick. All right, it could probably go, but it's mainly these joints, you know what I'm saying? A little grape, a little strawberry. Y'all, no lie, I spent about like $8 here, you know what I'm saying? And that's the crazy part, because I'd spend that at work in one day. And I think I got about two weeks worth of lunch right here. And that's if I decide to bring that. You know, I could switch it up, bring some leftovers, you know what I'm saying? Cook a little something, you know? You never know, you know what I'm saying? We out here trying to try save the digits, you know what I'm saying? Keep the commas at commas. You feel what I'm saying? Shit. Maybe cooking up real quick, goddammit. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, you need to fuck with these. You need to fuck with these. But we here for this. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Think about to eat good, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Alright, alright, we out here, we out here. Got get one of get one of these, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we out here. Word, word. It's at one four cup. This just said one and a half cups, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? Can't forget that dash of salt, goddammit. I'm here. Camera quality still shitty, you know what I'm saying? 
But it's baby steps, you feel me? I feel like, you know, as long as my content has some meaning to it, it's a little entertaining, I feel like someone gonna watch that shit, you know? Well, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to realize, like, like, anxiety and stress is, is self-inflicted, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've made a lot of my situations more than what they needed to be. And, you know, they didn't really deserve all that energy from me. They didn't deserve that spotlight. Um, but, you know, it's a part of growing. I feel like, you know, I'm still happy I went through things, I guess. Because now I'm here at this point. And, you know, it ain't going to be much to anybody. But for me, for what I, you know, obviously me going through my own life, I've seen the points that I've been at. I feel like I've been at a lot of bad points. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm alive and well. I'm doing I right now, and I just want to, you know, double down. You get what I'm saying? And I just feel like, you know, just the life, the only thing about life is, you know, you can't get time back. You get what I'm saying? So we stress, we try to aim for certain perfections, we try to, you know, focus on materialistic shit, you know, we worry about why certain things don't remain in our lives and it's like we just letting time pass we don't even realize you know that we still on the earth we still alive you know what i'm saying all we gotta do is just enjoy that just enjoy what what makes us happy and i feel like life will start to figure itself out you know and like i'm you know and i'm I'm not trying to say that from like a contradicting perspective, like I still got shit I need to work on. That's why I'm doing this, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to see my growth on camera and I want to, you know, if, if this shit get, you know, if I start getting some views or whatever, I feel like I would hope to inspire people, you know, who live, who I guess live life the same as me, you know, who have the same type of habits as me, who like, you know, who view life in a different perspective you know sometimes i feel like when i talk like i feel like i don't i feel like i don't know how to talk sometimes you know what i'm saying i feel like that's another reason why i want to record myself it's kind of crazy to say but you know what i'm saying i don't know i feel like i ramble a lot you know i try to i go in circles a lot you know what i'm saying i don't know where i got that habit from for real though but that's just annoying you know Cause then I feel like I'm losing train of thought because now I'm thinking about if I'm rambling and then next thing you know like conversation be all fucked up many years I allowed certain things to get to me you know what I'm saying I allowed certain people and their actions take a bigger effect than needed on my life you know and I guess I held those particular situation standards as to I guess how good I was doing in my life or how people respected me or I, this is how I felt people viewed me and I just took that shit and carried it I, you know what I'm saying I wasn't strong enough to move past it I had a lot of insecurities I felt like you know at the time I was just super behind on life and I just I crumbled yo like like badly you know what I'm saying and then I just stopped wanting to hang out with people like like what I was going through in life didn't matter to other people and like you know what I'm saying I can understand that I mean you know it's kind of selfish to you know to expect uh, someone who has their own life to focus on your life I mean that's that's common sense I mean I know some people don't care but don't care that other people have lives but I feel like I take that into consideration you know what I'm saying and sometimes people be showing like some some negative colors you know what I'm saying and I'm sure I've shown negative energy to people but I feel like you know, I was just running into so many fallouts, so many people were just walking in and out of my life, and like, you know, it was just weird, man, I was just so tired of it, I'm like, yo, it's like, I started feeling like it was something wrong with me, like, you know what I'm saying, they say if the same thing happened more than once, you the problem, like, but, you know, I didn't really feel that way, and it's not like, I think I'm perfect, it's just more so... I, you know, I feel like I try to be genuine, I'm, I feel like I try to be very, like, you know, not so much open, but, like, I try to be personable, like, at least for the people that I know I meet, mean, but, I feel like, 
I don't know. I sometimes I feel like it's the stigma that I carry, and I feel like people carry me based off of who they think I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I have, a, I can have a tendency to be quiet or stay to myself and little small stuff like that. Like if I fuck with you, like I'm a chill. Like we gonna be chilling. Like you'll see a whole different perspective of me. But I guess from the outside, you know what I'm saying? Or certain people that I do meet, they judging me beforehand. And, I don't know, it should just be weird, like, it's it's a little confusing, you know? So, it probably is going to seem that way as I talk, but I just feel like I don't, I don't do well with people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always bump into dudes who think, who, who think that because I'm not gangster, I got to be like some bitch-ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? And that's just corny, because I feel like... A lot of these niggas ain't hood niggas anyway, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like, you know, when you see me, and then that's when you want to try to play tough guy. It's like, yo, that shit get, that shit get tiresome, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, at the same, like, it's like, I'm not no bitch ass nigga. So I, at the same time, though, it's like, what reason do I have to prove that to people? You know what I'm saying? Why I got to act tough and motherfuckers? Like, for what? But niggas out here do that shit, you know what I'm saying? And you got the people... And you got motherfuckers who be trying to compete with you, like, like I don't gotta. Hard cause the bread important. I go hard cause the bread important. I go hard.